Carbapenems are one of the big gun antibiotics. They are bactericidal and active against gram-positive, gram-negative, and anaerobes. And because they are big gun antibiotics, they should be reserved when we run out of other options to reduce the risk of carbapenems resistance bacteria, except when we treat ESBL-producing bacteria infections where carbapenems are considered the first-line treatment. All have good activity against Pseudomonas and Acinetobacter except Ertapenem. Also, apart from Ertapenem, they are active against enterocarditis Coccus fecalis, but not Enterococcus fissure. They are not active against MRSA or vancomycin resistant enterococci. They cross the blood brain barrier and can be used for CNS infections if needed. They come only in IV form. Renal dosing is required for all. No hepatic dosing adjustments is required. Very low cross reactivity with penicillins. I would be concerned if life threatening penicillin allergy reported not so much with the milder allergic reactions. They all can lower the seizure threshold, cause delirium and myoclonus. Meropenem has a lower risk of these side effects compared to others. That's why meropenem is the most commonly used one in clinical practice in the USA. Ertapenem is reserved mainly for those who need longer courses of carbapenems because it's dose once daily and can be conveniently given in outpatient settings, which allows us to discharge patients home. Doripenem is currently discontinued from the market in the USA and Europe. Imipenem slash silastatin or primaxin or imipenem slash silastatin slash rilibactam Recarbrio, both can be used if meropenem is not available. Remember that silastatin is a dihydropeptidase 1 inhibitor that prevents the inactivation of imipenem by renal DHP1. Rilibactam is a beta-lactamase inhibitor, so the new antibiotic Recarbrio is simply a primaxin plus beta-lactamase inhibitor. Thanks for watching. For watching.